This time in favor of the Surfer representing France on Tour. Flores moving on into round three action. The Surf is absolutely firing. And we represent Italo Ferrer and Leo Fioravante in round two, heat number seven. Joe Trapel alongside one of the most successful surfers of all time and Martin Potter. For me, he's looking like uh, he's got a little bit of a new lease on life. And, uh, you know, every now and again, stuff goes your way. It really does, you know, just spur you on to, to bigger and better things. So let's see if uh, Jeremy can uh, capitalize on that close heat. While we're at the break, uh, Italo Ferreira on his backhand. This is going to be a great heat between him and Leo Ferravante, who uh, we saw just on a quick one right there. Surf is absolutely pumping. I mean, that last heat was super exciting. We want to see more of that. That was incredible to watch. And we love watching Italo Ferreira, who came out blazing at Snapper Rocks as a rookie. He knocked out Kelly. Oh. Looks like he's still fired up. Waited for the money part of the wave to stand up, and he's belting it shut. Yeah, I mean, you know, a series of beautiful backside turns. You know, with these goofy footers, you know. Italo wearing the red jersey. Underneath, Leo Ferravante on the sandbank, so he gets this way. Nice and vertical on the first turn. Jams it on the second effort. Here comes the carve. Former Rookie of the Year just carving his way through the inside corner, and he's out the back. He wasn't a rookie that long ago, so he understands, um, you know, that, that nervous pressure that the rookies will have, especially here in round two. Let's have a look. Bang, straight through the lip on maneuver number one. We talked about that vertical attack. There it is from Italo Ferreira. Really difficult to do on your front side and still continue down the line with that momentum. So these goofy footers are going to have a bit of fun. We saw Ace Bucken. We were happy that the world's best really got to perform yesterday at Snapper Rocks. We ran 20 heats. We accomplished a lot coming into a big Friday morning. The Italian rookie, Leo Ferravante, with some open face to work with now. And that one's just going to fatten out, so he's going to kick out quickly. Italo on the next one. Tight backhand jam, he'll fade. Whitewater already shoving him down the line. He's got a couple of fives to his name right now, or his total out front. Just weaving his way back to the pocket, filling in the downtime. And it's just going to taper off on the inside corner. They're all day long, just trying different boards, taking off switch stance, really just doing whatever he wants. And it's really fun to watch as we look at Leo's last win. Yeah, you can see the difference between Leo's approach and Italo's approach. Leo, a little bit more sort of horizontal, those big swooping maneuvers. And then you watch uh, Italo Ferreira as he comes around the section. Watch where that board goes, nice and vertical, and just gouges that lip apart, just showing a lot of power. You can see Leo almost get a little bit of a splash right there, trying to find some groove, maybe a little bit of frustration sneaking in. Another five-point ride, 5.9 five, to be exact for Italo Ferreira, but just so much energy that this guy brings. But I love how the individual styles are really coming across on the top 34. Having a look now, former Rookie of the Year, Italo Ferreira squares up vertically. A lot of down-the-line momentum, tags it, smooth in transition over the roof. Now carving his way through turn number four and slams it as this wall continues to give him more opportunities. Wow. Lightning fast in transition as he hops out. Oh my goodness. To start, 5.83, 5.9. And this one, he's like, okay, let's break away from that mid-range. How'd you like the opener? All about the start right there, too. I mean, this, uh, this wave didn't really have that inside section. All the work was done on the outside. And we talk about how he just goes from one maneuver to the next. There's no standing still for Italo Ferreira. <laughs> Just a series of backside attack right there that, uh, I tell you what, I'd love to be able to surf like that. Just so much energy, so much power, so much pos positivity from one turn into the next, you know, straight off the bottom and into the lip again. So just one after the other. The judges are going to like this one. And, uh, you know, didn't have that little inside section on that grows, but all the damage was done on the outside. So another good score probably Italo's best score just dropping in Joe. A 7.83 for Italo Ferreira out in front over Leo Fioravante and the athletes talk about how different it feels to be a wild card. You act like a spoiler to try to upset the role of the world title race. Italo's going to grab this insider under priority. He's still building some speed clear for takeoff. Full rotation in the flats but he can't hang on. Two things Repetition in this day and age is kind of like a, a dirty word, a bad word, and it's normally used, but up and riding here, boy, we'll get to that, boys, we'll get to that in a minute. As we see the tail drift from Leo Fioravanti, still hanging out with 88 world champ Barton Lynch as we watch this action. 
the Italian rookie just pacing his way down the line. Squares it vertically. Now hits it over the roof. A little bit quicker in transition to get the finish, but he's down. If it's done in perfect unison with the wave, as Italo did then on that 783, then the judges appreciate it. Here he is again. He is frothing out there. He is on fire. Another exciting start with that vertical hack. This one's starting to taper down, but he's got a lot of momentum for the lift to hit. Jams it. Nice controlled style. Ditches the fins off the back. And this inside corner providing him multiple opportunities. And kind of sticking to that theme what BL's talking about with repetition. A lot of majors to the inside. And he shows how talented he is going switch foot as well. Well, I think it depended who I was against and the way they sort of operated and what was going to rattle them a little bit, I think. I was always sort of considerate of my opponent. Uh, but in these conditions, I think Pot's rhythm is everything, isn't it? You know, you can bump into the good ones uh, without priority and create a lead. He got that 7-8-3 without the lead. We saw Jeremy Flores in the last heat get the 8-2-3 without priority. So priority, not everything, and here's Leonardo up and riding. Thank you, Bart, and Leonardo Fioravante trying to come back into this heat. Throw tail reverse would help if he could have pulled that one off as he's playing catch up with Italo Ferreira. So I was like, come on, give it to me, <laughs> give it to me this time. I wasn't sure because the wave was, had a really good first section. With, you know, gave me potential to, to, to do some, some solid turns and then it kind of stopped at the end. So, so I wasn't too sure. I was hoping I, um, I, I hit my first couple turns hard enough. And I just got the score and I think, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the first time I, I, I make a close hit like that in, in a long time. So it's good. It's good for my confidence. No, yeah, what's your feeling? Because I've, over the last couple of years, I'll... you know, I'm stuck for him. He's an amazing guy. He's, he's, uh, he's everyone's favorite surfer, mine included. So I was stuck for him, but a bit frustrated when I get that first hit with him. Because, you know, when you beat these guys first hit first of the year, first event of the year, you're going to be like, all right, I got this. This is going to be a good year. And I just didn't, but, but you know, I had a good hit now, and I'm stoked. Well, there you go, Jeremy Flores on to round number three, and I think the beginning is some momentum for Jeremy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Kaipo. Jeremy Flores fired up to come through with a very close decision, and right at the end of that interview, <laughs> we had Italo Ferreira show up and do uh, a massive air that I thought there was no way he was going to come out of the whitewater on. He ends up celebrating, going switchfoot on the inside corner, and... We might be rewinding the tape on what he just did throughout the rest of this contest, Potts. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's going to be there at the end of the year with uh, maneuver of uh, of the year for sure. He's famous for this. Almost got a perfect ten in the final for a backside reverse with a lot of loft. Let's see this version. Yeah, let's have a look. That's uh, well, a spin and a half right there. That was a uh, full rotation plus some. And uh, landed really critical. Let's have a look at the water angle. I mean, this is really going to show us how difficult the landing is. That's a full spin and a half. Comes down in a, in a really difficult section of the wave and somehow hangs on. No grab. His feet were almost disconnected from the board. That was just all feel, all talent. And let's have a look at it again. Slow it down right there. Look at his feet came off the board. The back foot's almost off. Comes down upside down. Straight at the beach. So you look at the where he took off to where his board came down. That's a a rotation and more than half so Italo Ferreira you are an absolute freak that was unbelievable the landing was incredible the takeoff was just unbelievable Strider's probably losing his mind in the water hey he projected you could see him loading up coming off the rock and then he just was looking straight into it I mean to get a 10 on one maneuver that was just outrageous that the way he projected off the lip went into the spin the wave was well overhead it was a wave of consequence a section of consequence I thought he's gonna throw a huge float no he's just gonna do a huge rotation <laughs> and absolutely <laughs> stick it down in the white water I mean there was you know we didn't know if he was coming out of it and he did so hats off to Italo absolutely amazing surfing right there I'm glad he's on my fantasy team We're right there with you Strider what an incredible wave a 10 point ride for Italo Ferreira on one major move it's a really interesting point that it puts the uh, the other competitors at people have got decisions to make in how they approach the lineup uh, Glenn Hall was just saying 
he, he's right behind me and, and Marco was just saying, well, that changes things. That's completely different. So a big score, a massive move, but interesting implications for the whole event, I think, as things go on. Really breaking down the insight of what it would be like to paddling out next, knowing the judges reacting and rewarding one major move on this classic right-hand sand bottom point break. Leo Ferravante is going to try to put the whole package together to answer back. Already a few solid carves oh. and falls out of the sky. Leo now in a pretty heavy combination, and he's against the clock pots. Talented he is with his footwork and his upper body. Our first 10-point ride of the season for the Quicksilver Pro. We got a 10 from the Roxy Pro yesterday from Lakey Peterson in a much different way with overall performance. So quickly getting perfection here in the opening event of the season. He to low, tail drift, he's out. With one minute to go, he's going to be celebrating this victory on road to a round three matchup coming up soon in the waiting period. Idla Ferrer just welcomed Leo Ferrani to the 2017 tour, so it's not going to be as easy as last year, young man. Uh, you're going to have to dig deeper. I have no doubt that Leo's going to have some great results. He's, he's an unbelievable competitor. But, uh, well, when you come up against stuff like that, there's not much you can do. Pin throw reverse from Leo Fioravanti as he's just going to have a ride to burn off some energy and a bit of frustration. As we count this one out, Italo Ferrer started with a lot of waves. He ended up finishing with 12 waves total. A 10, a 7, 8, 3 is keepers. One of the better combined totals of the event and the best single score so far with that 10 here at the Quicksilver Pro. When he's feeling this good, he might do something crazy on this victory lap, Potts. <laughs> yeah, just pull back, mate. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I'll just throw the shotgun instead. Yeah.